Hi, this is Dr. Nisha Vishnu. I am a cancer specialist, a radiation oncologist to be specific, working with Fortis Cancer Institute, Bangalore. Wanted to do something special for you on the World Cancer Day. Something general, but also something useful. So let me talk, uh, rather debunk, some of the most common cancer related myths. Myth number one, cancer is equal to death sentence. No, not anymore. I admit that all type of cancers and all stages of cancers are not 100% curable. Having said that, medical science has advanced enough to cure cancers if detected at an earlier stage. Some cancers like breast, thyroid, prostate, lymphomas, etc. have very favorable outcomes. A very common myth that I come across is that cancer run in the family. If I have cancer, my kids are doomed to have one. Not at all. Cancer that run in the family, which we call hereditary cancers, constitutes only 5 to 10% of all cancers. Rest is all due to sporadic mutations, that is, damage of DNA by chance as we live through our lives and get exposed to cancer causing agents knowingly or unknowingly. A very common myth that I come across is that oil A is better than oil B to prevent cancers or food A is superfood while food B causes cancers for sure. Now the science of nutrition is one of the most volatile of the sciences and is still evolving. Now many of my patients as soon as they are diagnosed get into a fruit juice drinking marathon. Some goes on to avoid sugar altogether. I believe and I guess most of my doctor friends would concur that moderation is the key and variety is the other key. I guess a balanced diet which consists of cereals and pulses and legumes, green leafy and other vegetables, fruits of all colors all in moderate quantity and sufficient water along with routine exercise is the only way we can try to prevent cancer although there are no guarantees. Myth 4 is that whenever I go for talks, I would invariably be asked, you know, one of these questions about microwave, cell phones, uh, cellular tower causing cancers. Now we categorize rays into ionizing and non-ionizing categories. Examples of ionizing rays are uh, X-rays, gamma rays, etc. While microwaves, radio frequency waves, etc. are non-ionizing. Only ionizing rays carry the tendency to cause DNA damage and hence only ionizing rays can cause cancers, not the non-ionizing rays. A rather unfortunate myth is that cancer treatment offered by hospitals uh, is a way to loot public and a conspiracy by some giant pharma company and that there is some herbal, you know, miracle cure that is readily available out there but we don't prescribe it. Now, as a doctor who is seeing the malady of cancer day in and day out, let me tell you this. As of today and as of now, there is no herbal or ayurvedic or homeopathic or acupuncturic reikic solution to the cure uh, to cancer yet. And may I stress on the word yet once more because I am not opposed to the idea that in future they might hold the key towards a cure. As of now, Please do not let your friends and relatives loiter around wasting precious time with alternative therapies if diagnosed with cancer. I have seen stage 1 cancer in you know very young people getting converted into stage 3 or 4 incurable cancers because of these kind of delays. Of course, we encourage our patients to take up yoga, meditation etc to cope better for a more positive outlook during the treatment but haven't seen you know they affecting the outcome as much. There are so many other myths as well revolving around cancers and the problem with myths is that they create doubts and distrust along with lots of confusion. So why not we share this video and spread the correct word and hence take the first step towards closing the care gap. Please feel free to contact me or reach out to me in the comment box. Thanks a lot.